Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Generative AI Training Basics. In this free video learning series, we are learning about SAP Generative AI on BTP. In the last episode, we talked about the concept of learning path for a developer to become an engineer for AI on SAP BTP Generative AI. In our today's session, I will show you the basic chatbot creation using Python. So this will be an implementation which we have done in our main training on SAP Generative AI available at anubautrainings.com but it will give you an idea of why should we need it and how to create it. So most of the AI applications are powered by bots and chatbots. So chatbots are nothing but a simple one page application like you see in chat GPT where you have a prompt input and then you get a response so usually the application includes uh, basically a simple screen and that simple screen would uh, around it with a input field so you have a simple screen and at the bottom typically you have or at the top you have a field a text area where you input the prompt and then you submit the prompt when you submit the prompt the prompt will then go to the system some processing happens and the result comes and shows it to the user so to build this UI, often we use a framework called Streamlit. Of course, there are a lot of frameworks. In fact, you don't need to use Streamlit. You can use SAP UI5, uh, the SAP's own technology, SAP Fiori, or you can use plain HTML as well. But since we often use Python in building our generative AI application, Streamlit is a very powerful and commonly used frameworks and acceptable across industry for creating simple powerful bot based application so that's why we are using it here so in this demo what we do is we create a bot where you enter the course name which you want to buy at anubo training for example rap capm ui5 launchpad analytics cloud or generative ai course itself and then you submit on submission we check the course price in the database we pull the price from the database and we add it to some kind of a memory variable now we add all this information here and finally we give user a button to generate a pdf on click generate pdf we read the data from database and create a simple pdf output for the user so let me go to the demo and demonstrate you how does the application look like in the real system after the implementation so you got a basic idea about how to create chatbot and what technology we often use in simple generative ai application using python let me switch over to the demo let me just try capm edit you see debugger hits you can also see it's duplicating the ui why it's re-rendering everything every time that's why so session state currently session state my variable courses is blank list is blank i press f5 i now add ui5 course and this time let's see yeah wahala you can see already there is a value capm which is in place so it's going to append now my value next value over there so again i just add let's say wrap training so let's see now yeah you can see two records already there good so now i click on order now and wahala you can see i've got all three courses coming from database getting stored in there now one last final thing which i want to do is generate a pdf so we choose that and now you see there is a generate invoice which i expect me to pass courses which is a dictionary of course underscore name trainer price and hour and in return it gives me a pdf with the name invoice pdf so i can say anubhav invoice yeah and then uh, it has generated some code so basically what it is doing it is setting up some font some drawing styles uh, with with font size and drawing styles and passing my data you see in the header area so basically uh, it is going to generate a pdf and then you can see at the bottom it is creating uh, a total variable to compute the total also parallelly looping over my courses and then drawing the course name trainer name hours and price in a table and calculating the total amount also to print then adding a 18 percent gst there tax amount and at the end it will print my values so basically it it is drawing all the data in a in a pdf form and then saving the pdf and returning the file out so this file will be created in this ui directory only yes as a as a file name 
uh, in return and you see it's generating the file uh, if you want to test it you can directly run this uh, invoice generator script with this test data you can see already the test data and order now and wahala we can see it's fixed now and you can see demo pdf is now created with all the courses duration and fees superb with that thank you so much for watching this video with me today if you feel this content is helping you kindly subscribe and share this channel in the whatsapp group of your company teams and i hope to see you in my next episode happy learning till then goodbye and see you again